Hello, good evening, uh, London. Uh, it's Dr. Patrick Ipsinger here, live from London, uh, speaking to Coach Harish Mehta, live from India, and he's going to be talking about Disrupt. He is the upcoming author of the book called Disrupt, the Disrupt Entrepreneur, uh, Disrupt Coach, and is live, ready to share with you about his Disrupt model. Hello, good evening, Coach Harish. Good evening, Patrick. I'm so you? happy to be back again with you today, Sunday, the 30th of September. Yes. 4.30 London time and 9 p.m. India. Wow. I'm sure a lot of people watching us share this talk today and make them feel disrupted. Yes. So let's go, let's disrupt. So last time you remember, I spoke about, it's in your moment of decision that you design your destiny. Yes. And we had coined D-I-S-R-U-P-P-T. Mm -hmm. I've already shared my thoughts in the first few episodes. D stands for dream, dare and do. I stands for with the intention to make an impact with the in the lives of people. And last time, I spoke about plan, prepare, and practice to achieve what you want. Yes. And today, my dear friends in London and here in India, I am going to speak about the bigger P. The P which is everything today. Mm -hmm. And P stands for people, people, people. people. How each one of us respect people, treat people, care for people, inspire people, motivate people, and influence people in our lives. Each one of us is surrounded by people. And how we build relationships with people is all about living our lives. Either we inspire or we motivate or we influence. How do we respect them? How do we treat them? And how do we live with them? It's all about people. Mm -hmm. The story that I'm going to share today is value people. Value people who can create a new life, not only for themselves, but for people around them. When you value people, you give them respect. When you value people, you care for them. When you value people, you build relationships, you build trust, and you build a connect. Mm -hmm. And when people are happy, when people are abundant, when people are respectful, they speak about you. So today, I want each one of my listeners to think, who are the people in their lives? And mm -hmm. what do they do with those people? Mm -hmm. I speak to a lot of people every day. I speak to business owners, I speak to leaders, I speak to board members, I speak to individuals, I speak to professionals, I speak to students, and I speak to faculty and teachers. Mm -hmm. So people is most important and everything else follows. Yes. So how you address people, how you look at people, how you speak to people, how you communicate to people, what do you do with people is important. Now, how do you uh, come to choose or to be with the people that are going to help you create your best life? How do you choose those people? Come again. How do you choose the people? How do you know the people that you need? Uh, I will share with you one magic. It takes only three seconds 
when you meet a new person. Remember, a new person whom you meet, a new people. Yes. Either you will connect or you will disconnect in three seconds. You know why? 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 The, the first words you choose to share with each other mm -hmm. will give you a vibration. And the vibration will be positive or negative. When you have a positive vibration, mm -hmm. the connect happens. Mm -hmm. And when you have a negative vibration, a disconnect comes into being. Mm -hmm. You would like to get away from that person the moment that vibration comes to you. And I'm sure each one of us knows when it is connection or when it is a disconnection. And as and life you, is all about people, remember. Yes, as you speak, I see some of your friends saying to me, Raj Singh. Raj Singh he says, me and Harish had dinner in Fort Lauderdale. They I love this great man. man. How did you connect? Can you use him as an example on how okay. you met with he, him within the first 10 seconds and you were able to relate or connect? I would love to share with you how I connected and vibrated with Raj Singh. Yes. That was a evening in Fort Lauderdale. I was attending a seminar with Les Brown and mm -hmm. Raj had come down from London. And he and me are both from the same country, India. Mm -hmm. He is living in London for a long time and both of us are Punjabis. He is a Sikh Punjabi. I'm a Mona Punjabi. So that was the immediate connect. Mm -hmm. Thereafter, that evening when we went together, it was windy and it was, the air was too strong for me. So we went to the next door store to buy a pullover, a sweater. And this great man offered me, I'll buy you one. And this was his greatness that, yes, I said, it's just a matter of half an hour. He said, no, buy this feel comfortable, and that's how the relationship built. And over the next three days, we were together every evening after the program. And he also invited me to London to attend Sir Les Brown's program. Unfortunately, I could not be there. So the people connect happened instantly. So in other words, uh, one way of connecting, it could be sharing a cultural heritage. Uh, it could be sharing uh, a geographical zone that can as well be uh, a, a way of connecting with people. But how do you connect people who are outside your comfort zone, for example, who are not? Uh, I would I would like to mention culture. Yes, I would like to mention another story. There's another person I met, Iris. Yes, she is also a great human being. Mm -hmm. And I was connecting on the Facebook before coming there. And when I came there, she was ready to welcome me, meet me. Yes. And there were some other great people whom I met during this trip of mine to Fort Lauderdale who were doing the program with Les Brown. And today I must share with you, Iris and me are still great friends. She wants to invite me to USA to come and speak in speakers seminars across USA we're just waiting for the right time and mm -hmm. for us she's a branding person she's doing great branding for people and I have great respect for her and we have connected and this is one of the things I would like to share you connect with people and you share the vibrations and you continue to speak about that person because of the initial connect mm -hmm. Thank you very much for sharing the uh, wisdom. And so these are the two people I met, I connected, and I'm sharing the story. I met a lot of other people, and I'm still connected with most of them. And I, have, I had to delete almost 100 people on my Facebook page because I'd crossed 5,000 to bring these 100 people into my life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Again, so, one new person, Jonathan, a lovely human being. Jonathan Nola. Great person, yes. I connected with him well. He was so good. I must share with you, he speaks pretty well. Mm -hmm. he, he speaks pretty well. And I was so happy to be with him, share with him, learn from him. And his story is a beautiful story. I enjoyed those few days which I was with him at the seminar and post the seminar at their office. Some great human beings I met and I still continue to share, care and be with them. Oh, lovely. Say, is Jonathan is saying thank you very much. Yeah, thank yeah. you, Jonathan, for listening to me and thank you for being a part of my life and thank you for sharing your story. I inspire people sharing your story. If Jonathan can do it, you can do it too. And that is why respect for people is there. One more human being who came on the wheelchair. Jose. Jose is also a great friend of mine. He and his wife, both of them had come. And I'm regularly in touch with them. That's the relationship we build. I listen to all his talks. And I'm so very happy that he is a part of my life. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, so what tips do you need? What tips are you giving us in order to be able to connect with people as well stay connected with people? Because yes, you can establish that relationship within that dinner, within that moment, within the conference you met all these people you're talking about. How do you sustain that relationship? I would share uh I would I would love to share the three words which I learned. Learn to respect people. Learn to trust people. Learn to create a relationship with people whom you build trust with. Mm -hmm. And life is all about creating relationships. And relationships is the first word you choose to mm -hmm. express yourself and to express your gratitude to the other person whom you are meeting. How you treat them the first three moments. Do you treat them with respect? Do you treat them to build a trust with them? Do you build a relationship with them? And that is what gives you the positive vibration. And the moment you receive a response from them, I promise you, the moment you receive a response from them, you will either connect or disconnect. Mm -hmm. The first three words, the first three sentences, people choose to express themselves. Where are they positioning themselves when they come and meet you? Those people, where do they come from and where do they go is very important. And mm -hmm. to build trust in people is very important. Life in, in your life, you will come across a lot of people. And I meet three new people every day. I build relationship with not two, but only one. Two, I have a choice to discard them immediately or give them some time to reconnect. So if they feel they need to reconnect with me, I'm so happy to reconnect. Because the vibrations have to flow from both sides. And they have to connect. It cannot be like this. You know. Mm -hmm. Two parallel bars don't meet. So it's wise for you to stop it then and there. And I love meeting new people every single day. I would love to share. I would love to care. I would like to learn. I would love to listen from them. Where they are in life and where they want to go in life and how I can participate in their process of growth by engaging with their minds, by engaging with their thoughts and add value to their lives. This is where I feel I need to share. Thank you very much, Shirley, for listening and being a part of the talk. And I'm so full of gratitude that you are listening to me now, there, wherever you are in whichever part of the world. In Canada. Canada. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very much for being there, Shirley. And
Thank you for listening to me. Would love to talk to you personally and know more about you and share with you how I could care more and give more because you are the person who has connected with me whom I do not know and would love to know the people who are connecting with me and share and care and listen and learn from them. Help them grow, engage with them and participate in a small manner in this whole process of their growth. Uh, thank you. Uh, as you are talking, I was thinking about uh, whether you have a system and the kind of people that you need to stay with because you can connect with lots of people. And then the more you have, possibly the more the distractions and the more the challenges of managing those relationships, friendship, or business uh, uh, ventures. So how do you decide to keep uh, and to, to I will share with you when I meet a new person. Yes. They ask me, what do you do? Mm -hmm. I say, I speak and I engage with people's minds. They say, we also speak. I say, people pay me to speak and engage with their mind and I'm happy to share this with you in case you feel you need to ask me how I can engage with you, how I can help you grow. Mm -hmm. Because that's my job. Mm -hmm. My job is to touch one million people. And I'm on this journey to touch their lives by engaging with their minds and mm -hmm. sharing my knowledge, sharing my thoughts, how I could participate and connect with their minds, engage mm -hmm. with their minds and grow them from who they are to who they wish to become. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because what, uh, what I'm asking that question is I have a book titled uh, Seven Steps to Greatness. And in my book, Seven Steps to Greatness, I did write about one of the steps is having people in your life, who are people, they, meaning who are purposeful. No, so, they have a vision, they are living for something, uh, e, encouraging, but uh, oh, opportunity experts, P, productive, L, live full and exemplary. Like, that people more that I have help someone to stay in their lives. That this is the kind of people are going to help me move forward. These are the kind of people who are going to possibly waste my time and to which time we have very we have limited time. So having people purposeful, encouraging, opportunity experts are productive, fully full and exemplary, helps you to have quality relations with what you have to say. I would share with you. Every person born on planet Earth, a human being, a person, mm -hmm. a people, mm -hmm. has a job to perform mm -hmm. and has a potential to reach to. Mm -hmm. So these people whom I meet, I connect with, mm -hmm. I want them by sharing my thoughts, by caring for who they are, I want them to learn how to become a better person, mm -hmm. again, the people, what they need to do in them to create that big P beyond themselves. Mm -hmm. So the people that they connect with are also required or need to be or are already great people. So how do you connect more and more people to become better, happy, healthy, wise, and lead a great life. So people make money one way or the other. People mm -hmm. make money plus or minus, the right way or the wrong way. But I am looking at people who can influence people from who they have become to inspire more people to create that 
new you in you to become who you are potentially responsible to yourself to become. So engagement of this thought in people's mind that they are all meant for greatness. And mm -hmm. greatness lies hidden in each one of them. So mm -hmm. the person that you need to connect is first of all sharing the same vibrations. Mm -hmm. Do not waste your energy on people who are parallelly running across parallel lines. You cannot connect with them because they have a different story to share. Yes. And the vibrations have not met. The tuning has not been matching. And law of attraction says you will attract only those people whom you want. Mm -hmm. And you'll stay connected with them only who you match the vibrations with it. Mm -hmm. People at the same frequency are fine-tuned. See, all of us who attended the program at Les Brown last year, I promise you are on the same vibration or closer to the same vibration, have a fine-tuning in the way they operate in life, in the way they connect in life, in the way they meet people, in the way they share with people, in the way they talk with people. So we are already a community of people. Similarly, I am also a part of the John Maxwell group. There are 20,000 people in that community and most of them are on the same vibration. Similarly, yeah. I am on the action coach, my business coaching and my executive coaching programs. Most of us are in the same we are all connected. Mm -hmm. So connected is all about matching vibration. And vibrations, when they match, life is good for everybody. You come so close to each other and you respect each other. You grow each other. You live with each other. You bond with each other. And mm -hmm. this is important. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so, uh, how can we uh, connect with you uh, so that we can know more about people? Each one of the listeners today live, or the people who want to listen sometime later, I would be happy to connect with them. I'd be happy to share my thoughts with them. I'll be happy to speak to them one-on-one, -on -one, any which way I can help them engage with their minds and grow. Mm -hmm. They can connect with me on my website, www.harishmehta.com or on my WhatsApp, plus 91 I repeat, plus 91 17477 or www.harishmehta.com I'll be happy to do a call with them, share with them, engage with them and wherever they need to engage with me, I'm happy to engage with them, grow them and lead them to where they belong. I have a free 15-minute coaching session which I do with people <laughs> who want to know how they can become a better human being, how they can engage with people. Since today we're talking about P, the second P in my disrupt, <coughs> people would love to share, care, engage, involve, learn, listen with all such people and grow them. That's the journey which I've chosen. That's why I'm sharing the disrupt platform with you. Now we have three words to share, which we will share in the next three episodes. I've left out S, R, and U, and fi finally the T. So four <coughs> more episodes to go. Before we do the last part of it, that yes, we will 
be able to disrupt this world, <laughs> innovate with them, learn with them, and grow with them together. Thank you very much, Harish. Thank you, Coach Harish, best upcoming author of uh, Disrupt. Uh, but before that, before we leave, I've just been uh, thinking about you, we've been talking about Les Brown. One of the things he says that when you turn Go ahead. Uh, people who are stretching and people are searching, people are looking for a higher ground in life. Uh, that is Les Brown who says that we need to align ourselves with the people that we can learn from, people who want more from life, the people who are stretching and searching and seeking some higher ground in life. What do you have to say about that? Each one of us needs to so like an eagle. Yes. I want all the people to soar like an eagle, not fly amongst the pigeons. So they need to have massive goals, big goals, think big, dream big, and soar like an eagle, standing out. And as Les Brown says, mm -hmm. each one of us is very powerful. Mm -hmm. Each one of us had the power in his voice. Each one of us had the power to share his story. And each one of us can contribute through his own voice to pass the message to people that you have something special in you. You have greatness within you. And each person needs to visualize and verbalize and materialize that greatness within him. And as I carry his torch, here in India, I am so very inspired and influenced by Sir Les Brown that I would like to continue to share my voice, share my story to inspire the people, to influence the people through the power of my words, through power of my story and sharing those one-liners of Sir Great Les Brown. And I'll continue to speak about him as long as I am alive, because he is the person who changed my life. He is the person who said, Harish, you have a powerful voice. Share your story with the world. Connect with the world. Inspire the world. Motivate the world. Influence the world. Engage with the world. And help them grow. So that's what I need to carry the torch of the legend, the number one motivational speaker today, apart from my other gurus, Marshall Goldsmith, John Maxwell, Brad Sugars, Michael Lozier, and now Bob Proctor. I'm so very grateful that they have continued to inspire me every single day to live a new day, to live a new life, and share this with every human being, people I meet every day. Give respect to people, acknowledge people, listen to people, and engage with their mind to grow the people so that tomorrow they can lead a similar or a better life. And tomorrow they can speak that, yes, one person change my life and that's what we need to create together this legacy that yes share your power share your story through your voice and i'm so happy that we have been doing this program every single week for the last four weeks would love to continue and would like to see whether i can do it on the 7th of October, since I'm going to be in Dubai, I'm going to be doing a program for Danube Homes. And in case we have connectivity, I shall inform you. Or when I come back, we will do it on the 13th of October. Till then, thank you very much for being with me and sharing my story live through your platform and looking forward to write the book together disrupt yourself and create a new you. 
all the people in the world. You need to innovate. People call it innovation. I call it disruption. Thank you very much, Sharish. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. In case you just joined us or be looking at this video later on, my name is Dr. Patrick Singe, uh, founder of Greenness University, and I'm a creative coach. Uh, I've been talking this uh, evening with the uh, coach Harish Mehta, which Harish taking live from India, is a disruptor coach. Uh, Please share my uh, website yes, and my I'm... email ID harish at harishmehta.com and my WhatsApp number to all the people so that they can join me, meet me, speak to me and engage with me. Would love to share my voice, share my story and share with them how I can engage with their minds, grow them. Yes. My objective is grow. And grow can be small, can be big, can be massive. The hunger that they have needs to come out every single time. And every single moment when you are hungry, you are having all the rights to grow. I remember, I remember Les Brown saying, are you hungry? I said, yes, I am. Yes, we are. We are hungry. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you very much for having me on today's call. Oh, you're welcome and have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye.